it's hello from Hoik, or Hoik, as the locals call it. It's Hoik Royal Arbor versus Stonyburn. That's me just in the ground, so I'm doing my usual walk round. And there's Dungu Trail right low, which is really good, because I'm not sticking up. Really good. That's a right low Dungu Trail. Uh, that can be dangerous if your team scores a goal. <laughs> you didn't know to jump up. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, that's a sea low dug out there. Uh, a good stand though. Right, just a you walk around. Look, <laughs> Look at that bump there in the, uh, the corner. Obviously, obviously they've got fencing outside. And uh, the fences up there. They don't have a sort of perimeter fence though, which is uh, not that weird, but uh, a wee bit unusual. It's a fencing. The one time, in fact, you might be arguing there's a bit of terracing up there, eh? A bit of grass banking, that would be a good place to stand. Right. Well, there you go, folks. A nice scenic ground here at Albert Park and hike. And of course, it wouldn't be the borders with rugby right next to the stadium there, Mansfield Park, I think it's called. And it's a uh, like rugby football club. There we go. It's, uh, ah. Up and back. There's a stretching technique. I'll get the muscles going. There we go. Please stay off the pitch during games. Kenny, how do you think your season's been going then? Yeah, we've, we've had quite a good season. Um, we were relegated last year from the second, and this season was us a wee bit of job. Uh, but we're sitting at the moment in uh, fifth place in the league. Uh, we're currently six points off uh, third place, and we've got a couple of games in hand. Um, so we've had a very good season comparative to last year. And it's difficult getting out of this league, eh? Because I, I, I've seen a lot of good games in this and a lot of good teams, but to get out of this league is really difficult. I think last year, yeah, we thought going to the third and a lot of good junior teams we like Solvay, and, and uh, we've responded really well. We had an eight-game winning streak prior to Christmas. Um, in total, we've had about nine games called off. Oh, I know. Um, I was going to ask you about that because yeah. uh, that must cause hell of disruption to your routine, to continuity. It does, yeah. Um, you find that obviously not having the games frequently it can, it can have an effect on your fitness and the sharpness. Um, we've had a little blip with the last three league games prior to Tuesday. We lost. Um, we played three of the top teams, but we got a good win on Tuesday night. Uh, we went down to nine men against a, a real good competition team. Yeah. And uh, hopefully today we can uh, get a bit confidence for that. Thanks very much, Kenny. Huh? How do you think your season's going then? Very well. I, I think we're doing very, very well. We're playing some good football, which we wanted to do. In some cases, we're low, depending on where we've got squad wise, you know, and the result wise. But uh, we're basically, we're basically a full new squad. Yeah. Sorry, we've got a full. Right. Full new squad of young lads, young hungry laddies. Uh, I think our average age is 21, 20, yeah. 21, maybe 19, 18, you know. Uh, but the laddies are, we've basically took the, the senior game, junior game at Ducks to Water. They're doing very, very well. They get it. Uh, and they're, they're, they're a joy to work with. They're a joy to work with. They take everything on board. Uh, and we can see that there for the second performance. There's been a lot of games off. Uh, is that disruption sort of caused problems like continuity? Especially been a good winning streak, eh? Yeah. Aye, aye, aye. It's Scottish weather. You can't judge it. And we play in a grass park, so you know the, the pitfalls of playing in a grass park. You're not always going to get it on, especially in the deepest, darkest West, West Lothian. You're not going to always get the weather. But we, we train hard. The guys keep a good standard of training. We never, ever, ever complain about their training. Uh, so a lot of games are off. We try and keep it there. Kind of game pace and training and the boys like that and that's held us in good stead so it's no real effect it's too much we can't use that as an excuse at all the game's been off because we've done all right but we've done all right up now okay great facilities up here they've got the bar there they've got a sort of cafe over oh, there they're on the pool table good stuff at the top of the stand it was, I'm interested in the badge because it's the same as the town crest, the, yes. the flag. So there's a big story attached to that. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, Hoyk is very proud of its heritage, very proud of its history. The badge is the horse monument which stands on Hoyk High Street. Yeah. 1514. Right. The war flood was 1513. Right, it was the year after. Yeah, it was like a year after. And the uh, English army was just back carrying the flag. Oh. The Hoyt had been more or less wiped out of yeah, fathers. I owe the fighting men, yeah. The fighting men, exactly. And it was uh, 
just young man that was left in the English were camp just outside Hoyk, right. a place called Horns Hole. Right. And the young men from Hoyk got together, there was a battle at Horns Hole, and they got the flag. Right. And the Hoyk young men came back to Hoyk carrying the flag. Right. And this has been going since 1514, and the young man is called a Callens, which means a coordinate. Oh, right, so yeah. every year, since goodness knows when, this Hoyk celebrates this, and for it lasts for about six weeks. Yeah. The young man has a different coordinate every year. Yeah. The coordinate carries the flag around the different regions, different parts of the town. Yeah. And so is it, is it a common ride, this part of the common ride, yeah. part of the tradition, commemorate the yes. flag? The it flag starts taken, six yeah. weeks prior, and then the common yeah. ride is held. It's a big weekend in June, when June draws near. Yeah. Hoyk people get very excited to celebrate this very historical time, yeah. which Hoyk is really proud of. And it's good that the Hoyk Royal Albert have got that in their badge. Yes, so that's the that's the in the badge. Right. And it's a horse monument. It stands at Hoyk High Street, 1514 on it, yes. Brilliant. Thanks very much, John. Thank you. To commemorate a term of Hoyk Collins from Hornsoul. 1514, when after the Battle of Flodden, they routed the English marauders and captured their flag. Right, after the team's out there, uh, White, Royal Abbott in the uh, blue, and the fools are in there are Easter, uh, red and white. That was just the kick-off there, it's uh, the fools to kick off. We kicked the uh, bike here. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, it's a bit of 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 a bit Oh, 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 trying to slide in there. We're trying to place it. We're good defending. So the first corner of the game to the Filchie. Oh, the chance here now. Kick outside the box here. I think we've got a direct shot. Yeah, a low one. Let's go to the goalie though. The race is on. We've got that well done. For a corner. Second corner to Filchie. Cut them off. It's a penalty spot just over here. Yeah. Right, there we go. Dangerous ball in, a good punch out the goalie. The danger's not there though. Oh. Oh.
Ja, vi blev fortsatt i Örberg. Ja, nu är det nog happy här det kom för alla. Russell Hall and I'm from uh, Kidlick in South Lanarkshire. Right. Uh, Coming in today for the Stony Burn game against uh, Hoyk Royal. I think Albert, Stony Burn are yeah. uh, holding their own. Yeah. A um, couple of chances there uh, that they could have maybe put away. Um, it's a it's a close game. Yeah. Uh, but I think uh, if uh, Stony Burn used the advantage, maybe doing the right hand side of the wing, they will get a bit of, ah. bit out of that and they could get a goal out of that. I think. See, they, they, they've certainly had more chances, you know, but. And don't know anything can happen, eh? <laughs> Aye, no, there's been chances both in the games, certainly, but, and Sony Burn have had the better chances now. It just needs a wee bit more thought into what they, they try, were trying to do there. But um, I think if they can uh, open up a wee bit and use the right hand side of the park, I think uh, they'll go on and win the game. Yeah, okay, thanks very okay, much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Nigel, what do you think of the first half? I thought it was a very tight, competitive game. Uh, perhaps lacking a little bit of quality in the uh, final, third, yeah. final third of the pitch. Uh, but uh, nil nil, fair, fair, fairly fair reflection game, a few chances. Yeah. Uh, looking forward to the second half. Yeah, I, th I think we should get some goals in the second half. There were, there were some opportunities here, well, from both sides. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's difficult to say. Sometimes with Hoyk, I come along and it's uh, very close at half time. Second half, they seem to leak quite a few goals. Aye. Um, but hopefully that won't happen today. A game with two halves, maybe, eh? Yeah, yeah, a game with two halves. <laughs> Thanks, Nigel. All right, cheers. What do you think of the first half, Brian? I think it's quite even Steven, not yet. Quite Aye. even Steven's match. I think the, the pitch is not helping, it's a wee bit bobbly. Yes. So 
Yeah, but being the groundsman here, it's a, it's a tough job. You're the groundsman. And so the chairman. And, and the chairman. And the bus drivers. <laughs> A man of all trades, yes. well, you have to be in these sort of clubs, eh? Yes, we do, yeah. All, all volunteers, you know, we do a great job here to keep the club running day by day, yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah. And of course, the pitch, I mean, the rain, and yeah, there's exactly. a lot of games off, so it's a nightmare to try to keep, That's keep right. games on, eh? That's right, yes, it is, I. Yeah, so we just keep rolling it and uh, just hope for the best and hope for a bit of heat, so, yeah. That's good stuff, right? So I'll give you two halves then, eh? Yes. Good stuff, Brian. First corner of the half to Hoyk here. In fact, is that a f the only corner? I think it may be. Oh no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it went over there. Well, it did, but <laughs> the defender hit it there. Right, it's that corner. Two in a row. It went ages and two couple of wins. Oh no. Ah, two chances there. If I don't know them, I have not been really good, have I? Oh, 
Chance here. Oh. This is a bell. Hey, hey, 
See this team be to give him a yellow card, number one. Stuff, officials, all getting involved. Just missed that. Just missed that there. I was watching all the entertainment. Crucial of Discord. I don't know how many people saw that because there was all these arguments going on here. 
on there. I think we all missed the goal. We're all watching the other stuff that's going on there. If something to call for me to gather here. Oh dear, I mean, nobody saw the goal. I've been asking people, did you see the goal? No. We're all too busy watching everyone else. There's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. Look at this. Look at this. What's happening here? It's all confusing. Is that full time? What was that? I don't know. I'm not changing my mind. I gave the ball now. I changed my mind. What is that? That goal. I believe the goal that nobody saw, uh, I think the review then disallowed it or something, then he allowed it. So I really don't know, <laughs> I really don't know what was going on there. Absolute chaos, bedlam in the stand here, everybody fighting, well, not physically fighting, but just about fisty cups, arguments, players, officials, fans, everybody. Oh, what a, what, what a mental stay here today. So I don't know what's happening. None of the players have left. Fire. None of the players have left. And the referee has been the management on the park. And I still can't find anybody that's seen the goal yet. I think I found somebody that saw the goal. Tell me about it. <laughs> I know. The ball comes in from the free kick. And the goalkeeper misses it. And Josh Sharp, which is his birthday today, Josh Sharp taps it in for a famous foul she win. 2 1. But the ref thought it was indirect. The ref thought the ball went straight in from the free kick, which was an indirect free kick. So there was a bit of confusion. The ref gave the goal. Hoyt protested and said it went straight in. He chopped it off. Stoneman protested and said it never, it never went straight in from the indirect free kick. And Josh scored with that. So he gave it again. You must be the only person that saw it then. Well, I think there was a, a bit of confusion in the stand. So. Uh, it certainly was. Thank you. He scored the penalty. You took that well. Were you pleased with that? Yeah, I'm happy, it's obviously, about the team get the win. Not really a natural penalty taker, but Dad told me this morning in the car, actually, if I get a penalty, I should step up and take it, and that's what I did. Put it quite up. right, aye, well, you, you took it well. It's quite unusual for a, like, a fullback to be the regular penalty taker, eh? Aye, aye, no, I wasn't really that nervous. I was confident walking up, taking it, then put it away decent. Good stuff, thanks very much, Liam. Alan, first of all, did you see that goal? I never saw it, and very few people did. I've seen the, the cross, goal. I didn't see the ball going into the net, no. really, but um, I'm, not, I'm not too bothered. Not no. Me, so, um, a win's a win. Win's a win. That's, that's, we've grinded it out today. Ah, it was a hard battle out there in more ways than one, eh? And I thought eh, Hoyt and Albert came into the second half more better. You know, you could argue that they deserved to, eh, to eh, get the equaliser. Aye, well, as I say, first, first half we've dominated. Eh, second half, yeah. obviously, the, the wind, the conditions, again, hitting, hitting the ball into the wind, the second half. Struggled to get up the park a wee bit, but eh, again, after like equalised, we've showed a, a great character yeah. to, to get that winning goal, eh? So. I delighted with him. Was a wee bit frustrating because you're right in the first half, you create a lot of chances. There were some good saves with your goalie as well, but you create a lot of chances. But it's one of these games, you need to score, you know what? <laughs> well, that's it. It's old saying, you've got to score when you're on top, eh? So yeah. um, I said that at half time. I said we've had corner after corner, free kick yeah. after free kick. We've not really got first contact on the ball, so it's, we were a wee bit disappointed going into uh, half time with Widen, eh? 
Okay, thanks very much, Alan. Oh, that's good. I, I don't know what to make of that game. I, I was enjoying the, the battle that was out there, but they ended up in a battle in more ways than one. Was it 2-1? Nobody saw that uh, second goal. Uh, you know, but it was good that you fought back. Yeah, I thought, um, I thought we had a real momentum shift. Uh, we had a, a dubious penalty against us, which we'll look back. Uh, our defenders got in front of their boy, and for some reason, he's ended up a penalty against them. But credit to our guys, we, we fought Aye. really well back into the game. We, we put our centre half up front, and as soon as we had done that, he, he got the header on target, and then that resulted in a goal. And I felt after that, we were chasing the winner. It was a real turning point. One of our players, Leon, got a red card. Yeah. Uh, that subsequently caused a lot of uh, drama, drama in the stands. Um, you know, what's bizarre about their winner is the referee stopped the game. Yeah. He's had to actually to separate fans and coaching yeah, staff. Yeah, that's right. And as soon as the players re enter the field, he's allowed a quick free kick. Free kick you yeah. know. And, uh, well, I never saw the goal. Uh, and I, I'm honestly, I was speaking to many people, nobody saw it. So, yeah, because so of the we're drama. All, we're all too, we're, we're, it was really a bad situation. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. so, yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's allowed the play to restart with a quick free kick and no whistle. Oh. They scored from that. Oh. He's overturned the decision. Oh. And then their coaches have entered the pitch and surrounded oh, them, really and then he's overturned it again. It's oh, it's, it's crazy. crazy. I don't, you know, young referees, and it's a big learning point for yeah, them. But yeah. you know, what a lesson. You know, yeah. it's, I just think sometimes just take the time and make the right decision. You know, and uh, I know, it's disappointing, but you know, credit to our guys. I thought it was right. a really entertaining game down here. You got a lot of drama, and uh, you know, we have to go again next week. I was as I say, I thought in the second half uh, you, d you did deserve something from the game. You yeah. know. So, thanks very much. Pleasure. Yeah, thanks for coming down, Nori. Cheers. All right. I don't know what to make of that um, game. <laughs> there was a lot of... Uh, well, I, I missed the goal and the winning goal and a lot of people. In fact, I was speaking to so many people. Did you see the goal? Did you see the goal? A few did see it and apparently there was a bit confused about whether or not it was a, a direct free kick, a free kick, uh, or the referee blew his whistle. Apparently he did. Uh, but everybody's watching all this stuff that was going on. I didn't even realise the game had started. Next thing you know, they're, they're all cheered as a goal. But then the ref decided, I think it was, it was going to disallow it. And uh, I think uh, there was oh, there was all sort of bedlam going on, uh, whether or not it was a, a direct free kick, indirect free kick, or somebody, I, I, I don't really know. So you hear all different stories, uh, but they were all critical of the ref. I'm not really critical of the ref, and I didn't like to really slag them off. But I think uh, the, the game got out of hand, and there was a few decisions that annoyed some fans and it just got uh, and it got just bedlam. So I was enjoying the game up until then. The whole story one was the better team in the first half. They just couldn't score a goal. And I thought the Hoik uh, deserved to get that equaliser. And both teams were going for the winner. Then bedlam. Huh? So that's what you get. But I think most of them are all back in inside there talking to each other uh, over a wee pint or two. So well, most of it's forgotten again. Well, that's football. The passion can rule. The passion can get too much for some people and it gets a bit boisterous, shall we say. The word I heard, there was a lot of words I heard today, but unbelievable was the word I heard said so many times whenever a foul or free kick or something. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So that is the title of my video of the day. Unbelievable. Anyway, I must say a big thank you to everybody at uh, Hoik Royal Arbor. Uh, I was speaking to well, quite a few people. Uh, a great wee set up here as well. And it was great catching up with the Filchy, the Stonyburn guys again. Uh, really friendly bunch. Uh, and I just love going to these games and speaking to everybody. The players, officials, fans. Fantastic. So get yourself down. That's a third division. The Eastern Scotland League. Still good stuff though. So, <laughs> here you go. It was a battle, the Battle of Hoich today. Mm -hmm.